Dearest brothers and sisters, life as we know it has drastically changed. All of a sudden, our churches were closed, school years postponed, jobs moved remotely, and hospitals overcrowded. The world had to learn to be still. There are millions of people joining all over the world to pray for the end of the coronavirus. But as unexpected as these times have been, our God remains with us. He is bigger than the church, moves beyond the sacraments, and shows up even in the ordinary makings of our lives. Welcome, Salt and Light Media family. My name is Chris Bray. I'm from Barca, Venezuela. And so we welcome you. Two hymns at home. Amen. 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 Our homes become chapels, our couches the pews, our tables the altars, and we become living tabernacles for Christ. Even in this time, our God brings us closer to Him, as though Jesus is saying, I will love you beyond Sunday. I will teach you outside of school. I will employ you after work. I will heal you, body, mind, and soul. I will carry you in my arms. Each day is a new prayer. Each moment, an opportunity to let Christ into our hearts. Never has there been a time like this when daily mass is celebrated online and parishioners attend from around the world, when the rosary is recited like a battle cry of the faithful and confession takes place in unexpected spaces. All right, well. This time is preparing us to love deeper, to hug each other tighter, to kiss each other sweeter, and to speak to one another kinder. We emerge as a stronger community of believers. May the ache we feel in physical distancing deepen our spiritual closeness with God. As churches reopen, may each sign of the cross, every sit, kneel, and stand, and every sign of peace be done with all our hearts. And when we line up for communion, May we receive Jesus sincerely, remembering the days we were hungry for love.